Hi everybody, Paul here. If you own a GM or Chevy vehicle and need to replace the radiator or perform a transmission flush, then you'll need to remove the transmission cooler lines on the radiator, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So stay tuned. The radiator will have two transmission cooler lines attached to it. This is what the transmission cooler line looks like. To remove the transmission cooler line, first remove the round plastic keeper clip. Simply pull on it until it pops off. Next you'll need to remove this metal spring clip. This is what actually keeps the transmission cooler line fastened to the radiator. There are special tools you can buy to remove the metal spring clip, but a lot of them are expensive and they don't always work. The most inexpensive tool to use that works every time is just a simple metal o-ring pick tool like I have here. Now remove the metal spring clip. Simply slip the metal o-ring pick tool behind and underneath the metal spring clip. Here's a close-up view of the metal spring clip. Now grab hold of the transmission cooler line and pull it straight out until it pops out. Once your work is completed, reinstall the metal spring clip. Make sure the metal spring clip rotates freely back and forth just a little. If it does not rotate freely, then it has not been reinstalled correctly. Next, reinstall the transmission cooler line by pushing it straight in until it pops in. And last, reinstall the round plastic keeper clip by pushing it straight in until it stops. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.